morning today, my name's Lave. I watched The Revenant and now I'm gonna tell you what I thought about it. I have a feeling I'm gonna be saying authenticity a lot throughout this review, so bear with me. So on paper, The Revenant has got a pretty simple premise. It's set in the 1800s in the American wilderness. Leonardo DiCaprio stars as Hugh Glass. He's with a group of Americans hunting fur or pelts. And then one day he's mauled by a bear in the most authentic bear attack I think I've ever seen. It's simultaneously hard but fascinating to watch. It's so authentic and it just goes on and on and oh. At one point the bear's like standing on top of him and standing on his head. <laughs> the rest of his crew do try to patch him up and carry him to safety but they struggle with the terrain so they decide to split up. Three stay behind. Those three are Hawk, his son, the good-hearted but gullible Bridger, and Fitzgerald. Oh, he's a bastard. Yeah, that's right, I'm a bastard, but did you not gotcha squirrel? Events transpire and Tom Hardy's character kills his son and leaves him for dead, and then it becomes an epic tale of survival, of man versus nature, and man versus man. And that's pretty much it, although there are some subplots with the Indian tribes, there's some French fur trappers out there as well. Now don't let this simple premise fool you, because this film is truly epic in every sense of the term. It's acted really well, I really like Leonardo DiCaprio. Tom Hardy in it is awesome too. They're really going for it. They're acting, Gary, acting. In many ways, Glass and Fitzgerald are the opposite sides of the same coin. They're both survivors, although Fitzgerald is more about self-preservation. They both have a history and it kind of feels like one took one path and the other took the other. And Fitzgerald is a bastard, but it's slowly revealed why he's a scarred man emotionally and physically. What you hold on to, Glass? Don't you know the gotcha squirrel? The other supporting cast acted it really well. You got Will Porter as Bridger, Donald Gleason as the captain of the team. For me, the real stars of the show is the director, Alessandro Gonzalez in Aratu, and the cinematographer, Emmanuel Lebetsky. These two have made the film absolutely stunning to look at. I mean, the cinematography is breathtaking. Now, Alejandro Inaratu scored big at the Oscars last year with Birdman. Birdman was unique because it was filmed as if it was done in one entire take. And he's carried over some of those techniques into The Revenant as well. The whole film isn't filmed in one shot, but there are long takes, whether that be in the middle of a battle, on horseback, on foot, getting attacked by a bear. <laughs> What's even more incredible is that they film the entire film with natural lighting, it's just amazing. All of those techniques combined with the actors' commitments to their roles just heightens the sense of realism and authenticity. In fact, I'd go as far to say that this film is actually an endurance test. It's so realistic and so authentic. The first hour for me absolutely flew by, a lot goes down, but then the remaining hour and a half of the film does become a bit of a slog. The pacing is not as tight as the first hour and it does feel like Glass goes from one perilous situation to another and then another. The more I think about it, the more I think the director has done this intentionally to make you feel as knackered as the characters. In fact, there's only one moment of levity that I can remember in the entire film when Leonardo DiCaprio's character runs into another Indian or a Pawnee, I think they're called in it. There's a bit where they're just sitting there in the snow and they're both catching the snow on their tongues. But other than that, this film is gruelling. And for that reason, I'm not sure if it's something that I'd like to go to the cinema again. I don't know if I could put myself through it. I'm certainly going to buy it when it comes out, but I'm not sure if it's going to have the same effect as being on the big screen. And there were a couple of fourth wall breaking moments. There's a bit where Glass is actually breathing on the lens and it feels like a transition shot, but they didn't fully commit to it. And later on, there's a scene where he's directly staring down the camera at the audience. It just didn't fit in with the realism and the authenticity for me. But anyway, that's my thoughts on The Revenant. And pause the video now if you want to check out my enjoyment tracker. The best way that I could describe this film is kind of a mix of Apocalypto, Alive and The Edge. If you liked all of those three films then definitely go and see this. It's definitely not one for the family but it's certainly one for film lovers. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Either way, tell me in the comments. Survive! <laughs>